How you doing? What's up, YouTube? What's going on? What's popping? How you doing today? Alright. Hope y'all had a fabulous day. I um am looking over some notes for the show today. Um What's that on my table? Wanted to talk to you guys. This is just a um a video that I wanted to bring to you guys about all these hot topics going on in the in the news. Now you know my show doesn't really do um I don't really cover like celebrities a lot and stuff like that, but I feel the need to this time because they just acting real stupid. And it just seemed like a lot going on. Um, the first one that I want to start with is um, Beyonce's party video. Featuring J. Cole. Now, that was kind of a surprise. The video was hot. Um, the sequences in the video were hot. The, I, I love the pool scene. Um, I love her outfits in this in the in the video. I love her uh, her makeup in the video. Uh, it, it was fabulous. Um, I didn't see any part of the video that I really didn't like. However, though, um, the part with J Cole kind of tripped me out and threw me off a little bit. And let me tell you why. It threw me off because I've never heard. A version of Party featuring J. Cole um, before until the other day when I watched the video. Now, J. Cole is not on the original verse or, tr or, or original track of Party. So, they remake it, I guess. I don't know what the beef was between Andre 3000 and Beyonce. Or even if there was any beef. Or, you know, it might not even have anything to do with that. It just could have been simply... You know, scheduling time or, you know, because other moms are busy too. But, uh, yeah, but his part was like, like, like quick. If you turn your head, J. Cole was kind of, his verse was kind of over. Now, y'all know J. Cole, if you don't know. Uh, he's from down here, down here in North Carolina. He's actually from, uh, Fayetteville, North Carolina. So he's a Southern, uh, artist, but, you know, he's getting a lot of exposure now. Um, and the vi the Beyonce video for him is a good look. Um, I like J. Cole. J. Cole is hot, you know, people even said that we favored each other, kind of brother from another mother type of thing. Um, yeah, so, but the video was cute, though. I, I, the, the, I like the video. It was cute. It was real cute. Um, check off on to the next one. Now, y'all know on my show, I talk about a lot of different things or, or pretty much whatever I feel like talking about. Now, this Herman Cain, this Herman Cain, uh, what are they calling it? Herman Cain uh, sexual harassment controversy uh, with the gag, not gag order, but... Uh, confidentiality agreements and you know a third woman's coming forward or wants to come forward but she has signed this confidentiality agreement and you know there was a settlement between the three and they were all allegedly paid um allegedly paid a year's salary which was I think what forty thousand thirty five or forty thousand dollars um now I've been watching the news MSNBC oh my god I love them I was watching a clip where Herman Cain was approached by the media. He was at some function somewhere. And he was approached by the media. And he automatically, you know, is is combative about the whole situation because he know his goose is cooked, right? Get it together. So he approaches him and is like, I, I'm the, but before you even ask me any questions about any allegations, I don't want to hear it. I'm not going to talk about it. I don't want to know it. I don't want to talk about it. The first question out the first reporter's mouth down was was about his alleged sexual harassment case that he has going on now. And then it was kind of funny to me because he was like, what? And, and the, the, the reporter kept being real persistent, right? So 
he finally says, what part of no don't you understand? Now, I will tell you this. I don't know if it's cute, Herman King, for you to be uh, saying what part of no don't you understand and you're involved in sexual harassment charges. You might want to take a script out of your own book and kind of apply that to your situation right now. What part of no don't you understand when hot Peggy Susie was, you know, telling you no. You didn't understand no yourself. So you got a problem with no yourself. So you can't you can't come at the media like that for doing their job because you are the oh I can't even say it front runner in the Republican field if you will and uh, the biggest thing is you know him him suing Perry's um, Perry's um, campaign because of the leak from a person to his campaign and then they put it out so. It's just a big ass mess, y'all. So if you following that, I will try to keep you posted on that. But every day, it seems to get more and more interesting because this man, since the allegations have broke, you know, he hasn't lost any money. This man has actually gained uh, $1.3 million in campaign donations from people. Really? Like, I don't know if these people that live on The Rock or... They are not sophisticated enough to know what the hell is going on. But to me, if you support him, you're supporting sexual harassers everywhere. Check that one. On to the next one. Jersey Shore. On to the next one. Now, X Factor, I don't follow it. UK or US. Um... Lead that to my homeboy, Scorpion, at the Scorpion Show. He does excellent reviews on those. Check him out, the Scorpion Show. Um, they they did drop the tween supergroup intensity. And I'm sure a lot of people are, like, unhappy about that or, you know, but... I, like I said, I don't follow it, so, you know, I just wanted to let you know that they did drop the tween group uh, intensity. Now, Lizzie Lohan or crackhead Lohan, as I like to call her, is going back to jail for 30 days. This bitch, let me tell you something. If then ha if this had been me or you in this same situation, there would have been no, okay, probation. There would have been no ankle bracelet wearing at home type of deal. There would have been take your ass to jail, right? And stay in there, serve your time, then get out, and then still be back on pro. No. No. This bitch is getting preferential treatment, and she just don't know how fucking easy she got it, okay? Lindsay Lohan, lock her up. Don't throw away the key. Oh, it's hot in here. My ears are turning red. I need to turn the heat off. Don't throw away the key, but, you know... Now, to all my people... That watch me that are white. I'm not saying, but I'm saying. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if she's getting this treatment just because she is white. Because if had this been a new... You know what I'm saying? Where was all of this when little... You know, different situation. But where was all this probation when little Kim needed it? You, you see what I'm saying? Where was all of that then? You see what I'm saying? That is good. Have me a little sip of something. Because I got to have me a little sip of something when I talk about these crazy ass celebrities who got it so fucking good and they don't even know it or don't even realize it or don't even fucking, I don't even think they fucking appreciate it. But anyway, on to the next one. On to the next one. On that one. Kim Carr motherfucking Dash. Hmm. What can I say about our big butt? Kim Kardashian with her uh, drive-by wedding. Um, now, the report that I saw says that that she emailed family ahead of her divorce saying that she's, she's sorry that she jumped the gun or, you know. Now, I don't know. This happens every day. People get mad. People get married every day. People get married in Vegas. 
people get married every single day and don't need to, mean to, or drunk, or whatever. I mean, how we know she wasn't drunk and got married? You see what I'm saying? How we know she didn't get drunk married? Question. Answer that. If you know, how do we know she didn't get married drunk and regretted this shit the next day? You know, and he, he, he's a fine white man. He can get it, girl. How you doing? But, um, you a mess. Stop, stop. Shut up. I see you. I see what you're saying. I heard what you said. Um, yeah, so this email that she allegedly sent out to her family before her divorce saying, you know, oh, I shouldn't have did it. Oh, I shouldn't have jumped the gun. You should have thought about that before you stood in front of the damn preacher and said, I motherfucking do. Okay? Because once you say, I do, ain't no time for I don't. You see what I'm saying? And another crazy ass celebrity. What I tell you, they just, ooh, I tell you, man, these celebrities just don't know how easy they got it. But I'm not, I mean, I hate the judge because a lot of people get married and stay together. And knowing that they're toxic for each other, but they stay together. That's never a good thing. So I, I'll, I'll give you your, your props, Kim Kardashian, as far as, you know, splitting it off and breaking it up and ending it and not staying in it, knowing that you don't like him or he don't like you or he's using you and living off of your celebrity and, you know, his washed up sports career is no longer popping. So he needs to pop on something else. And that's you, baby girl, whether you know it or not, because he'll forever be known now. As the guy, Chris Humphreys, as the guy who married Kim Kardashian, you know, for a few days or whatever, whatever the case may be. He's forever going to be known for that. So he can possibly get a book deal. He can possibly be on Oprah or Scopro or whatever. He could possibly be on, um, you know, on, on, that, on Larry King and on him. You know, all the little daytime shows, The View, The Talk, all of that stuff. You know, you just you just boosted his career. And I don't want to say if that's why you did it. But is that why you did it? Chris Chris Humphreys is very smart. He, he played that real good. Now, lastly, this Justin Bieber baby daddy thing situation. Um... Now, allegedly, Justin Bieber's fans are going hard on his alleged baby mama uh, with death threats to her on the internet. Now, her name is Maria uh, Yeater, Y-E-A-T-E-R. I guess that's how you say it because it's Eater in it, so I'm going to say Yeater. Um, the fans, they launch an online death threats and because, you know, the Biebers, which is what his fans are called, Love Justin Bieber. Now, if you haven't heard, I'm sure you did. If you watch YouTube and the news, um, it's alleged that you know he 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 broke this chick off in the bathroom and only took him 30 seconds. He did it raw dog style, um, because he wanted to feel it. That was his first time, and you know, all it only took him 30 seconds. So he was probably like, ah, you know, your first time, you don't want to go long. You want to get that nut and see how it feels. So, you know, <laughs> wow. He went up in somebody raw dog, first of all. Justin Bieber, what I suggest you do, you know, me, I suggest that you start doing condom commercials. I suggest for anybody that watched this video, tweet this video, tweet it to Justin Bieber. Justin, my advice to you, dude, is you need to... Start a condom campaign promoting safe sex since you allegedly ran up in this chick raw dog. Now, who knows what she could have had? Who knows what you could have caught? You would have hated for your first time to be caught up in some HIV or some other disease that you can't get rid of. You would hate for your first time to have been that way. Thank God, hopefully, you know, nothing like that will happen to you, but... You see where it could have went, Justin Bieber? So, you know, I don't care how cute somebody is or how good they look to you or how drunk. Well, if you're drunk in the moment, you don't know what the hell you're doing. But wrap it up is, is, is what I'm saying, dude. 
So, to Trojan, I'm not going to say Magnum because the boy's only 17. <laughs> he don't need, trust me. Um, Trojan Condoms needs to come at you or you need to go to Trojan Condoms and be like, look, if if all of this is even true, I, I ran up and brought, you know, but I would like to promote safe sex amongst teens because, you know, teen HIV and teen uh, STD are running rampant nowadays. So, you know, I made a mistake. I didn't wrap it up, but I learned from my mistake and I would like to start a safe sex campaign, which is it, which is a good idea. You know, safe sex is always the best sex. Safe sex, which itself is the safest sex. Why can't why? So yeah, so now the alleged name of this baby or this alleged well the baby is there, but his alleged baby is it's a long name. It's Tristan Anthony Markhouse Yeeter. That's the baby's name. Tristan Anthony Markhouse Yeeter. Why you didn't name the baby? Tristan Justin Mark Anthony Markhouse Bieber. If I was you, that's what I would have did. You see what I'm saying? I would have gave him the bit. I would have gave him if he's allegedly the baby's father. I would have gave him Justin Bieber's last name. You see what I'm saying? It it kind of adds a little bit more weight to your your situation, you know. And then if he is the baby father, for you to have to go through the whole name change and all this stuff and it's just a bit much so it's a mess but for all of y'all out there Justin um, if your fans are going hard on this girl and, and, and issuing online death threats you need to nip that in the bud via Twitter you need to get on Twitter and tell your Biebers your fans to stop with the bullshit because it's not that serious death threats uh, you know that shit is serious so don't take that shit so seriously that you know, I know we all go hard for our individual celebrities that we love and like and follow, but I don't go hard for anybody to take the time to get online and issue death threats to nobody because it's not that serious. What 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 uh, Justin did in his life is over there. You see what I'm saying? That's over there. I ain't. I'm I'm right here dealing with my situation, my life. So I ain't got time to you know be worrying about what he got going on in his life. So. I just think that that's real stupid. And Justin, you need to get on your fans and tell them, you know, real talk, like, yo, you know, I, I know you know the slang. You need to get on Twitter and be like, yo, peeps, chill with the death threat stuff. Chill with that. Because you got some crazy people out here that will take that shit seriously and go out there and, and, and choke a bitch. You see what I'm saying? So that's two things Jersey Raven wants you to do. People, tweet this to Justin Bieber, this video right here. Two things I want you to do. I want you to start a condom promotion, a, a safe sex condom campaign with Trojan. And I want you to tell your people on Twitter and Facebook to stop sending death threats to Maria Yeeter, your baby mama. Okay? Because that's not cool. Because if this all turns out to be true, then what are they going to do? Are they still going to hate and send death threats and, and death because they wish that you nutted up in them? And, and you they, you was their baby father? Like, really? So, stop with the dumb shit, people. All of that shit is, is really not that serious. So, that's my entertainment news for today. I am done with that, y'all. That goes where? Back there. A um, couple of other things. Um, the swoop down coming up Monday. JerseyRaven15 at gmail.com. Don't forget, email me your advice questions your comments your shout outs your anniversaries divorces whatever you got going on in your life and you want me to reply to it on a swoop down video get at me email me because again they come straight to the phone so I get them uh yeah so we're gonna get it together as I always say you know my show catchphrase um, have a beautiful day. It is pouring down here in North Carolina right now. Oh, my God. It's raining. Cats and dogs. Um, so I'm going to get out your face. Uh, got some good news in the mail today. I, and I started to do something different. I started to do a, uh, you know how you look at YouTube and you see 
a lot of unboxing videos. And you remember how I unboxed the my watch that I got my my baby. Oh, I'm wearing it too, by the way. You see, Ooh, this damn watch is heavy on my arm too. When I unboxed this watch in what two videos ago, um, you know how you do the unboxings. I was started to do a, a envelope opening because I got something in the mail that I had been wanting for a long time, and I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna try to show it to you without showing y'all the number. But I got one of. See that right there, that card, that that card. You see that? I have always wanted one of those. See that? An American Express. I never thought. I would ever see my name on one of those, and sure enough, it 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 uh it came. So that was a little bit of good news in the mail today. Um, for anybody else out there that has American Express, you know that they have excellent member benefits. They have uh, cruises, vacations, uh, a lot of vouchers that they send you for hotels, uh, meals, car rentals, and stuff like that. So. I am glad to be a part of the American Express family. Get it together. I love you guys. Please follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash jerseyraven. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video. Let me know what you thought of anything I said in this particular video. I love you guys. Don't forget, again, jerseyraven15 at gmail.com. Get at me. I'll even shout you out. Just do that. And I love you guys. Peace. And as I always say, get it together. Yeah. Mm.